Hi, welcome to AI Python. This is part 2 of the video series Vaccine Availability Checker Desktop App Development using Python and TK Inter module. This section will focus on front end development of the app. In this video, you will learn to create actual layout of the app using TK Inter module. And this will be the absolute starting point and the foundation of this app. You will learn to define the initial GUI dimension that is height and width of the app as well as provide the flexibility to resize the app whenever it is required right and then you will learn to add icon to this app these are the essential elements of any application beat any language last but definitely not the least you will learn to apply a background color to this application so without further ado let's get started and code the front end So I have already opened the VS code and I have already written the code here. Before even going through the explanation of this code, I would like to show you the result of this code so that you have a clear vision in your mind as what exactly would be the output of this code. So when you execute this code, this is what exactly you will get a nice window with the elements such as icon and then title of the window. Uh, the size of uh, the GUI or you can say application and the background of the application. Alright, so let's get started and understand. First of all, we need to import certain modules which are important or necessary you can say for building a graphical user interface. In Python, there are multiple libraries but for this video and for this video series, we are going to talk only about tkinter. We are not going to talk about other modules. From tkinter, this is the module name. Or the you can say library name uh, the from tk inter import everything star means import everything then the second line says from tk inter import message box because message box is not defined inside tk inter library directly but it is a part of that complete package where you can separately install each one of them right as you can see here when you are in importing tk inter you are importing only the main dot pi right and everything is still not imported so let's say if you want to import message box you can separately import using from tk inter import message box or from tk inter import file dialog or from tk inter import ttk like that so at least you understand the message box and other things are not a part of the core tk inter so it can be separately imported Third line is basically date, time and maybe for this uh, video we can keep this one because uh, we are going to use these modules in our project but not in this section. Even we do not require message box at this moment but still I think you must understand that why we have imported message box. Here I have created one variable called software version and then given value which is v1.1 for the timing and, and I will show you how to use that now comes the important part so in order to create a gui we need to create an instance of or you can say we can create we need to create an object of tk and we can use tk with the round bracket to cre create one instance which is app equal to tk and you can name it anything for the convenience uh, generally people use window or root or app so these are the convenient uh, name which generally uh, people prefer so i am preferring app in this case so you have to create an instance of uh, tk and name it anything in this case i'm using app and for the rest of this video i'll be using app and then app dot main loop this is the end point whatever code is in between these two line from app till app dot main loop will be always executed this is the code which displayed continuously as a, in the form of gui so you have to make sure that you have to write everything in between these two mostly between app equal to tk to app dot main loop right okay so we'll understand the first one which is app dot geometry so this geometry feature or geometry method is used to define the size of window so 700 cross 400 so 700 is the width and 480 is the height width by height width cross height right and this is optional so this parameter when you specify 600 by 300 let's say i am executing this code so this 
this window is appearing at particular specific portion of the screen all the time it is because that this point or this is this corner is denoted by 600 plus 300 600 is the distance from x axis or you can say left side of the screen and 300 is the uh, height from the top of the screen or the yeah distance from the top of the screen all right so this is the way you define specific portion where this gui should appear for the first time okay i hope you got it so the second one is title you can define title using app.title and here it also support f string basically it provide a placeholder where you can uh, update uh, variable names from anywhere so uh, this is kind of form string formatting which is possible in 3.6 and above version of python so here vaccine availability checker is the name of the app or the title of the app and the software version which is coming from here so Whenever I execute this code, this v1.1 will be added to this name, right? So it will be like vaccine availability checker version 1.1. Okay. Another one is adding the bitmap or, or adding the icon. So icon, as you can, as you have seen there, the, this is basically the icon. So this round circle is the icon and make sure that the file type of the icon should always be ICO, dot .ICO as you can see here. Natively tkinter support only dot .ICO file, not any other format. So in case if you want to use PNG or JPG, it will not work. So make sure that you should use ICO. And I've kept I, all this icon in this image underscore icon folder. This is the relative path and uh, VS Code is intelligent enough to locate these files otherwise if it is not located you have to provide the full path of the uh, ico file all right and uh, this way you can add any of the icon to the gui or your desktop app second last line this is basically says uh, if you want to make your app resizable what is mean by resizable let me demonstrate you first so let's say in this app i have made one portion as false and other portion as true that means the one side which is like if i want to expand it width wise i cannot expand because it is made false false means width wise expansion is disabled but at the same time uh, the second parameter which is true and it represents height resizability so height wise it can we can resize the application right so if you make both of them true you can you can resize the application both way right sometime you need to resize the application but for this application we don't want to resize it that's why i have make it false both side but i can make it false both of them because i don't need uh, the user to resize this application right so now you can see i cannot resize anything other uh, so the control is lost i cannot resize okay so this way you can lock your application or you can say not locking in terms of feature but locking in terms of size or dimension of the application all right the last one is the background color so this background color you can put any background color and it, it support hex as well as the direct name so right now i have used this hex color and this hex color represent this basically gray kind of uh, color right it also support uh, direct color formatting like direct direct standard color for example green if i write green this will be supported right all the standard color are directly supported here in tkinter uh, so you can use any one of them as per your choice okay for the time being i will stick with this same color right and everything is packaged again between app equal to tk and app dot main loop right so everything is packed inside. This is how you can design a basic layout of the GUI, right? So that's it for this video. Um, I hope you understand something. In case if you have any issue or if you're facing any problem with respect to designing this specific part, do let me know in the comment section. I'll definitely help you out. In the next video, we will see how to add frames and specify color and the location of the frame on this GUI.